What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and uh, today unfortunately we have to talk about something that has just been driving me absolutely insane uh, for a long time now. This what you're seeing on screen here, this is an example of a scam. It shows up in my comment section periodically. I want to be very very clear about this. I will never ever ask anyone to send me money for anything. If you win something on my channel, I pay for the shipping. That should be the number one indicator. There are other indicators here and we're going to talk about that, but that should be the number one thing. If you're talking with somebody you believe to be me and they ask you to send money for something, they are going to scam you. If you have ever sent money to, you know, whoever this is, if you've ever sent money after receiving a message like this, you've been scammed, unfortunately. Your money is not coming back and you did not win anything. This needs to go out to as many people as possible. I know for a fact that this video is not going to reach nearly the number of people that it needs to, but I, I can't stop all of these bots. I can, I can get rid of most of them. YouTube makes it Fairly easy for me to get rid of most of them, but some of them are going to slip through the cracks. And while, you know, I know the vast majority of you are going to look at this and go, well, obviously that's a scam, right? Yeah, I mean, the most of us are going to know, you know, when we look at something like this, we're going to know what it is. Unfortunately, not everybody knows. There are people who don't know that this is a scam. They may have never seen something like this. And, you know, they get excited. They see my logo and they're, oh my gosh, I won something from Metal Complex, right? And then you message these, these people and they make it seem like you won some big crazy knife. Right? I've gone through the process to understand how these people scam people. They make it seem like you, they, they get you to contact them via WhatsApp or there's a number of other applications, right? And they can create infinite phone numbers. I don't know why YouTube allows, like this, obviously this isn't me, right? This is one of the indicators. Instead of it saying metal complex right here, it says text and then a number. Why are these characters allowed to be entered as usernames on YouTube? That makes it so easy for scammers to do this, right? But most people don't look that far. They get excited because they see my logo, right? So they don't question this or they don't question the dialogue. They go, oh my gosh, I won something, right? So you text this number and uh, what they do is they make it sound like, oh, you won some really crazy expensive knife, right? It's $500 or it's a $1,000 knife. Oh my gosh, wow, right? So all you got to do is pay for shipping <laughs> right there. That's, that's where you should know. This is not metal complex because they're they're asking me to pay money, right? And they say, choose from, uh, you know, here's your, your shipping options. A standard shipping, you can get expedited. Well, the shipping starts at like 50 bucks, which is insane, right? And then it goes up to like 100, 150, $200, right? They make it seem like you can get it in a day. Well, that sounds ridiculous, but to some people, what they do is they think, well, this is a thousand dollar knife. You know, what's, what's another hundred bucks for shipping? So they send them money and then they don't get anything, right? You just, you sent these people 50, 100, 150, $200, and you're not gonna get anything. So again, if you've ever sent money to these people, you, your money's not coming back. I need people to be aware of this. Uh, not only is this, this is one of the indicators here. And if you're wondering like, why don't you just like hide the user? Why don't you just infinitely block them from your channel? Well, here's the problem. For some reason, YouTube allows these bots or these, these people behind the bots, it, it allows them to create an infinite number of um, accounts. And each account can have a different name because whatever application they're using to communicate with people allows them to create an infinite number of phone numbers or means of communication, right? <laughs> so YouTube should not be allowing these characters here. Uh, and while I, when I hide one user and what I can do is I can make, at any time, I can make uh, you know a, a user invisible to everybody. So their comments show up for themselves, but I can't see their comments and nobody else can see their comments. And generally I reserve that for people who are just spamming or trying to be, you know, intentionally unruly. It's pretty rare. Most of the time I use it for stuff like this. It just gets rid of this initial account, but then, you know, the person behind the bots can just create an infinite number of additional accounts. So I can never permanently get rid of them. If you've ever wondered why are the comments disabled under past live streams in the Metal Complex YouTube channel, it's because these bots intentionally target my giveaways. Whoever's behind this, they know that I do weekly giveaways. They know that people are susceptible, that people are specifically vulnerable on my channel because I do so many giveaways and people want to win, right? So uh, normally they would attack just the comment section under the live stream because that's where the 
that's where the bait looks the juiciest, right? But when they are not given that option, when I disable the comments, what they do is they just leave this stuff all over my channel on random videos. I get notifications for new comments and sometimes I see notifications for this crap and it's real easy for me to get rid of it. I don't know if you could imagine with me, it is not possible for me to sort through all 2,700 of my uploads and go through the comment section and look to see if there's anything like this under any of them. There are 85,000 comments roughly on my channel every year, new comments. So it's not possible for me to do that. I will get notifications for new comments and for replies sometimes especially if I'm involved in the conversation, but I don't get all the replies. And this message is almost always a reply under a regular comment. So I might not see it, meaning these things slip through the cracks. And when they slip through the cracks, that's when, you know, because people continue, they try to reply to this and, you know, they want to believe that it's me. I never see it. So I'm unable to actually get rid of it. So I want people to be proactive. I, I want people to be aware. When you see this comment, make sure that you know, like don't report my actual comments, but first you should look and see, does it say Metal Complex, exactly how it is listed on the YouTube channel. They might try to get crafty and put Metal Complex and put an underscore or some weird symbol, or maybe they put Metal Complex and then a number here, right? You have to look. If you see a freaking phone number up here, it doesn't match my channel exactly, it's not me. Congrats, you have been selected among our shortlisted winners. Contact the number above. That's bot language, right? It's generic and it's meant to be able to be applied to an infinite number of other channels should they choose a different target. So not just other knife channels, but other channels in general, right? They can, they can appear to be whoever they want. So this is just meant to arm people with information. Let's all try to actively get rid as, uh, of many, as many of these as possible. Um, and minimize the number of people who, you know, get scammed. Again, there's not a way for me to get rid of all of this, but um, it's just, we, it's, this is as much as I can do here. Uh, if you win a giveaway, if you've attended one of my live streams, then I'm sure you know exactly how it works, right? I do it the same every single time. Uh, anybody who has won something from me, which at this point, there's a lot of people who have won things and actually received things from me. So if you are one of those people, share your experience in the comments so people know. But I draw the name and then I, at that moment in the live stream, which is usually later in the live stream, I give you my email address. Say, this is where you can contact me. Uh, that is the only means of communication that I use. I never ask people to text me. I'm not gonna give out my phone number, so I don't do this. I don't use WhatsApp or any of that other crap. I don't do that. Gmail or Instagram, those are the only two ways that you can contact me, but I always give out my, uh, my, my YouTube channel email address. That person emails in, says, hey, I'm the one who left the comment, and then I have a, a little validation process um, or a, uh, a authentication process. Uh, it's real easy for me to tell if it's actually the person who left the comment, right? So we go through that, have a little discussion with them. Once I confirm it, I say, okay, need your shipping details. And then I ship it out. That's it. I don't ask them to pay for shipping. Uh, I pay for the shipping. Shipping and insurance, it's always 100% on me. So those are your those are your things to watch out for, right? Uh, everybody wants to win. Everybody wants to feel like a winner. So I, you know, I get, you know, the it, it's, I'm not coming down on the people who have been scammed. I get it. It's initially, it's exciting. You really feel like you won. And there are some people who have messaged me on Instagram and say, Hey, is this legit? Like, is this actually you? I'm really glad. I'm really glad that there are people questioning this. It gives me, gives me faith, faith that people can fight this. Right. Um, and I, I always say, no, absolutely not report that, get rid of it. Um, so if you've ever been scammed by this, I'm really sorry. Uh, it's not me. Um, but uh, let's all let's all try to, you know, not just under my channel, but anywhere you see this, combat this, right? Every chance that you get, be proactive and combat it because it really is an absolute plague on YouTube and it creates a lot of issues for me because people get, get upset, right? And I, I, I don't wanna see that under my channel. I wanna be able to give back to you guys and give free stuff right? Truly free stuff. Uh, I want to be able to, you know, give back to the people who have supported me and helped me grow my channel, but it just sucks that we have to deal with this. So anyways, uh, I hope that this has been informative. If you have more questions, please ask, please ask your questions in the comments and let me know.
What I would find incredibly hilarious is if one of these bots actually ended up landing under <laughs> this video so that we could have a perfect example uh, of that. Uh, if that happens, I will pin it and uh, show you guys because the dialogue might not always be exactly the same. It may not always be exactly this. As soon as YouTube finds a way to universally combat this, they will adapt. They will, you know, alter, uh, you know, the message or alter the username or something to make it, um, you know, appear legit. So just be on the lookout. I don't, I, that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything more I can say. I'm pretty much just repeating myself at this point. Um, but uh, anyways, be really careful what you click on, guys. Be really careful who you are uh, communicating with online um, because they can end up stealing your money. So anyways, hope you all have an excellent rest of your day. Bye.